Did you know, if you live in metropolitan Melbourne and surrounds, your curbside recycling is processed right here in Melbourne? Our network of facilities, known as Victorian Commingled Resource Recovery, plays a key role in reducing the amount of waste sent to landfill. Located in Coolaroo, Hallam, Geelong and Laverton, our facilities use a range of technologies to sort recyclables by shape, size, weight, magnetism and optical scanning. Processing around 200,000 tonnes of recyclables every year. Let's take a look at how CleanAway process your recyclables before they are turned into new items. It all starts when your recycling truck collects your paper, cardboard, hard plastics, steel, aluminium and glass from your curbside recycling. Once your recyclables are collected, they're transported to a material recovery facility known as a MRF. The truck arrives at the MRF where the driver unloads the recyclables. These are scooped up by the loaders and placed onto the main feed conveyor. This machine distributes the material evenly on the conveyor belt for its journey through the MRF. The material makes its way to the first manual sorting station. Our team of sorters remove any items that can't be recycled. This is called contamination and includes items such as bagged waste, textiles and hazardous items that could damage the machinery or cause fires. The material continues its journey along the conveyor belt and enters one of the two large spinning cylinders. This machine is called a trommel. The trommel uses gravity and spinning action to separate materials into three sizes. Materials smaller than 18 centimetres, materials between 18 to 28 centimetres and materials bigger than 28 centimetres. Pieces of glass are typically smaller than 18 centimetres. They travel on a vibration screen that removes any large contamination before it travels to the zigzag waste sorting system. This advanced separation technology uses a vacuum system inside a zigzag shaped enclosure, removing paper fibres from the glass. This glass is now taken to a different facility to be crushed into a fine sand, ready for reuse. Materials greater than 28 centimetres are typically cardboard. Cardboard continues straight through to the paper and cardboard station on a conveyor belt where it is hand sorted before making its way to the baler. The remaining material continues on the main line and makes its way to a second manual sorting station to remove any contamination that has been missed. From there, materials head to the ballistic separator. This separates flat cardboard and paper from 3D materials such as jars, bottles and containers and it drops them onto the main line. Steel is separated by strong magnets that sit above the sorting line. The magnets pick up and divert the steel items onto their own line for baling. Aluminium is separated from other recyclables by an eddy current, which uses a strong magnetic field to repel aluminium from other objects. Aluminium items go through two eddy current separators before being baled. Now that glass, steel and aluminium have been removed from the main line, the remaining materials are sorted by optical sorters. Optical sorters use three-dimensional sensors and jets of air to change the course of material towards the desired location. Paper and cardboard are separated from the plastic and head to the paper and cardboard line for baling. Plastic is sorted into five different types which makes it even easier for recyclers to make new products. All of the materials have now been separated into paper, cardboard, plastic, steel, aluminium and glass. The materials, except for glass, are baled, which means compressing the material into cubes and squeezing all the air out. This makes them easy to transport to the next facility and be turned into new products. Paper and cardboard are pulped and become new products, such as office paper, cardboard food packaging and, yep, kitty litter. Plastic is turned into pallets and can be used to create new products like plastic bottles, new plastic packaging, polar fleece or even a park bench. Steel is turned into steel sheets that can be used for new appliances, automotive manufacturing or infrastructure. Aluminium can become new aluminium cans or even part of an aeroplane. Glass can be used for construction, and road surfaces, 
Putting the right things in your recycling bin is just the start of a whole new life for your recyclable materials. And the more recyclables we can save from landfill, the closer we get to making a sustainable future possible.